So you've found a lesson in Edpuzzle that you want to use with your students. The first thing you need to do to make sure this is going to be successful is find out if the underlying YouTube video link is unblocked in our filter. To do that, you're going to have to get the title of the video and search for it on YouTube. The original title here, Henry Winkler Talks About Dyslexia, CBBC Hank Zipser, happens to be up here. So I'm going to do a little cheat and copy this. But you really need to make sure you're getting the title of the original YouTube video, which you'll find down here. I'm going to paste it in YouTube and hit enter to search for it. Okay, here's the original video. So now I need to get the actual link to this video. To do that, I'm going to come here to the three dots next to the video and click share. It's going to give me a link to copy. So I'm going to click copy and I'm going to go to the link we use to see if our videos are unblocked. The link is archive.lightspeedsystems.com. If you use YouTube videos or Edpuzzles frequently, I suggest that you click these lines the first time you go to this website, drag them down to your bookmarks bar so that you can easily go to this site. You can even rename it by clicking edit and then name it something that makes sense to you like YouTube Unblock. So now you can always just go to this website whenever you need to check a video. All right, I copied that video link earlier, so I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to click search. And you can see it says, looks like we missed this one. Please submit for review and we'll get it categorized. To allow media access, that's not something you can do. That requires one of our network people. And honestly, it doesn't take light speed very long to do this, although you want to plan about a day ahead. I'm going to click Submit for Review, put in my email address, and in Reason for Review, um, because I know that education.videos is unblocked for our district, I like to just type, please categorize this as education.videos so I can use it with my students and I click confirm. Now it says please allow up to 48 hours. It is smart to do this as far in advance as possible. What I have found is they are pretty responsive most days and you will get an email letting you know what the result of the categorization is. Within 48 hours you should receive an email like this one which lets you know if your request has been processed. In this case, the video I asked them to look at was recategorized to education science, and that's a good thing. They didn't say education videos, but they did put it under education, so that works. As long as it's under an education category, your students should be able to view it, and you should be able to use a pre-existing Edpuzzle with it. If for some reason your request to have the video recategorized is denied, you can put in a service desk request with a link to the video letting us know that Lightspeed denied the reclassification and we can see if we can get it unblocked for you. If you want to look up another video while you're still on the Lightspeed Systems page, just go grab the URL from YouTube and then paste the new URL in the search box. And for this video, we can see that it is already categorized as education videos, which means that I can go ahead and use it in Edpuzzle or just show the video itself to my students. One other note, if you find yourself getting videos from the same author or channel all of the time, you can request that the channel be unblocked. 
the channel that a video comes from is usually right underneath the video's name on YouTube. If you click that name, it takes you to the channel homepage. You can copy the channel link and look it up in Lightspeed. And this channel has already been categorized as education videos. So any video on the channel should be already allowed for students. I hope this has been helpful for understanding how to check and see if YouTube videos on pre-existing Edpuzzles are going to work for your students. Music